friends and hello fellow jewelry lovers. Welcome to a jewelry haul slash live sale preview. These items are all going to be offered for sale. I have a couple sales coming up. I have a sale on Saturday the 21st and that is at noon Eastern 11 Central on my channel. I will have Simon says let's make a deal as usual and then we have a very special guest dear Angela's vintage and she's one of my oldest friends from YouTube and I'm really excited about it then on Monday I will be doing my pre-recorded like buy it now jewelry sale there are a couple of these pieces that are probably gonna go you know straight to either my jewelry box or they'll be sold online and I will show you those as I'm going through everything. These items came from three different places actually. The amazing storage unit sale, um, items from a local uh, artist who makes jewelry, which are these. You guys have seen some of these before. She has some new ones. And then um, items I picked up from an online seller. So I am super excited to show you guys all of these items. I think they're all fantastic. I'm really excited about this. So without any further ado, I'm going to show you guys what I got. I'll tell you where I picked them up. Okay, so a lot of you have seen the storage unit sales. I picked up just a few pieces of jewelry. They didn't have a lot there. And I just, you know, I just grabbed everything that I thought was amazing. This necklace is one of the pieces. I thought this was fabulous. It's in very, very nice condition. It has shells, it has wood, and I love this parrot. It is an asymmetrical vintage necklace. It's phenomenal. I love this parrot. Okay, the next to it is probably, well, it is definitely the most valuable item I have here. This is Viking. Uh, this is made from horn. It's Norwegian and it's fantastic. So when I saw these, I or this necklace, I just grabbed it. It was at the storage sale and I had no idea what I had. I was like, okay, dragons or horses, uh, yes. <laughs> and when I was researching this, I found out that this is made from horn. There is one of these listed for $180 on eBay. I absolutely love this necklace. Um, this is something that this is one of my favorite finds ever. Um, it is so cool. So it's Norwegian. Um, like I said, this Viking design, it is so freaking cool. I'm trying to kind of show you all of the, the natural elements to it. So it's horn and bone, and it is just phenomenal. So there is that. Now this will, if I sell it, this will go online just because, you know, my live sales, um, I don't offer items this high of value normally, but anyway, I had to show it to you guys because it's one of my favorite finds. Okay, then this, I need to polish it. This is a brass brooch. Obviously, it is a toucan here. Looks like he's brass and copper, actually. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So, I can't wait to actually sit here and polish this guy. I actually love polishing. Um, I don't polish a lot because people love patina. and They might like the patina on this guy. I don't know. If you have an opinion on it, let me know. Leave a comment. So I picked him up. He is definitely vintage. Then I got this. Um, this is amazing. So this is a brass bangle and it has like this coral acrylic. I have to sit here and uh, get this off. So I tried to get the sticker off. So you can see here it was sold for $28 at a boutique. Um, I'm probably going to use my hair dryer trick to loosen that up just because of where that sticker is located. I have, was having trouble getting it off, but just so you know, hair dryers often will remove sticker like that, especially if it's been on for a while. It just kind of heats it up and loosens it up and there you go. So there's a little pro tip. Now this I got, uh, from an online seller, um, as well as this, this is a little, I believe it's I think it's malachite. I don't think it's moss agate. Um, this amazing carved pendant. I love this face. It is super, super cool. Probably vintage. Probably Mexican. I'm not quite sure, but I had to get it. 
And then back here are some more items I got online, these amazing brooches. So look at this beautiful um, gold flower brooch. It is phenomenal. Look at all the layers of lusciousness. It is beautiful. It is not marked. I'm just showing you what I got from the, um, what I got online. This is gold filled. Look at this beautifully carved rose brooch. All of these are in such nice condition. It is absolutely beautiful. It is marked there on the back, gold filled. Um, then I got this really pretty leaf. I loved the brush and the polished elements to this as well as the faux pearl. This one is not marked either. This one is fantastic. Now this one has a little bit of an issue, not with the front of the brooch. The front of the brooch is fantastic. So this is milk glass with these amazing um, blue rhinestones. I love this. So um, the clasp, the part that folds, you know, in is stuck right there, it looks like. So I'm gonna try to fix that on my own. Otherwise I'll sell it as it is. It's beautiful no matter what. I think it's probably an easy fix. Oh, it's pretty. Then I picked this up. Look how pretty this leaf is with these purple stones. It's gorgeous. I love that design. Here's the back of this. Um, then this, look at this. Look at this huge brooch. This is so good. I love it. Okay, now this may be my favorite out of the brooches. This is from a company named Sphinx, which was a new costume jewelry company for me. Um, they started in 1940 in London, and they ceased operating in 1990. I looked it up, but look at this mouse. So he's got, he's kind of like a jelly belly um, with a turquoise colored stone there. And then he has all these little turquoise colored um, rhinestones too. I don't know why he doesn't want to focus. Look at his tail. So he's got um, this amazing tail. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Then I got this horse. So I do collect horse brooches and I didn't have this one. I'm trying to figure out what exactly that is. I don't know if something has broken off. Was it part of the saddle or something? I don't know, but I love this little foal. Um, it's really cute. I don't think it was marked. Then I got this stick pin. Look at this. This is so good. It's beautiful. I love the green with the faux pearls. This is probably glass. I haven't tested um, any of this yet, but I love that too. Okay, so that is everything that I got online. Um, yeah. So the rest, so I'll go ahead and show you these earrings. So I have bought and sold these many times. A lot of you really like her work. Um, so most of these are silver plate, just so you know. Um, none of them are sterling. But these are, are real amethyst. Um, sometimes she marks the back. And these are great. Oh, I love them. I love the dark amethyst. These are super cool. You have the evil eye. And I've got to flip them around. Gosh, you know what? I'm going to zoom in. There we go. It's hard to do this with just one hand. <laughs> and there we go. We're dropping things left and right. There we go. How cool are these with the eye and kind of the sun? Love them. These are really cool. I thought someone might enjoy these for Halloween. These kind of like sugar skulls with uh, crystals. Aren't they cool? I think they're cool. I love these. Now, these glow. Um, these moons. I'm not quite sure what that stone is. If anybody knows, let me know. But let me show you the glow on them because I think it's cool. Cool, huh? Love them. Then these are white halite. I thought those were really neat, too. And these are lapis. They're like the amethyst, but they're actually lapis. I think those are really pretty as well. Then she had labradorite, which I think is the first time I have gotten it from her. Who doesn't love labradorite? It's very, very popular. The simple hoops. Then I just thought that these crystals were really cute. 
perfect for going to holiday parties this time of year. Really nice. Then these are another pair of earrings that you know you could definitely do for Halloween or, or day, you know, Day of the Dead. Um, these are picture jasper. I think that's really cool. I love these. And is that everything? No, I picked up this costume necklace as well. I honestly, I must have gotten this online. I don't remember, but I've never shown it before. I think it's modern. It looks modern, but it, look at these flowers. I mean, it's just great. It's a great necklace. Um, these are sterling. These are dyed shell, I believe. I don't think they're glass. Um, but they're little purple earrings. I love those as well. Okay, what else do we have? Um, at the sale, at the storage sale, I got this as well. These are glass. And this is West Germany. This beautiful double-layered vintage necklace. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Then over here, I got this at the storage sale too. Um, this is a vintage necklace. It is obviously silver tone. It has the spoons there. It's a great, great boho necklace. Speaking of boho necklaces, this is fantastic. This is a Native American um, collar or choker, whatever you want to call it. Um, it does have the suede leather tie back there. It's amazing. I have not... Um, tried to find out if these are real turquoise. They kind of look like it to me. Bone and wood, probably. This is a great, great necklace. Choker, whatever you want to call it. Then over here, I got two other pieces of glass. This one is beautiful, this beautiful red. And is this one marked? No. Um, but yeah, it's just gorgeous, faceted, beautiful, hand-strung glass. Then this is stunning as well. I just looked at these guys, so I don't know if these are semi-precious stones or not. They kind of look like it to me. This one is Japan, I think. I'm pretty sure one of these was Japan. No, I don't see a marking. How beautiful is this necklace? I love the colors. You get blacks, purples, blues, just amazing. Oh, and I almost forgot this. I don't know how I could. This one I need to test as well. I don't know. This almost looks sterling to me. I don't know. Now that I'm looking at it through the close-up on my phone, I'm not quite sure. Those could be real turquoise stones, though. I love this. It's really, really cool. I'm trying to see if there's a marking. I don't see a marking. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this short little haul. Again, this is just kind of a, a preview of jewelry that will be coming to live sales as well as my Buy It Now recorded sale on Monday. If you haven't checked those out, please do. I have so much fun recording the jewelry sales, I can't even tell you. It's fun. I love looking at pretties. I really do. Gosh, this necklace is stunning. So... Definitely let me know in the comments what your favorite item was. And I hope to see you at a sale soon. And you know what? Just come in and say hi. You are not pressured to ever buy anything. I just love having people in the chat. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Thank you for watching. Bye.